Hello, in this video, we're going to look at this exam question and the information that we've been given is as follows. The diagram below shows a cone. The shaded part is the thickness of the cone. The internal volume is this. Uh, the external base area, I mean the, the internal base area is this. Take pi to be 3.142. So the question now says, calculate the internal height H and the radius R. So I'm going to show you how to find the height, the internal height and the radius R. Okay, so the information that we've been given is, uh, we've been given the internal volume, the, vo the, the internal volume of a cone and also the base the internal base area this base area the internal base area okay now how are we going to find the height and the radius okay so to find these two missing measurements first of all we are going to since we've been given the volume we are going to write the formula for the volume of a cone so volume of a cone now this is internal volume so we say volume internal is equal to 1 over 3 pi r squared h so this is a formula for for the volume of a cone uh, then we have also been given the the base area now when you look at this base the base of this cone is a circular base so because it's a circular base we are going to use the formula for finding the area of a circle to, to mean the internal base area so we have area is equal to pi r squared so this is a formula for finding the area of a circle so this is internal the area of a circle we've used it because the base is circular okay now how are we going to find the radius and the height so we can actually use the first formula now we need to check if really it will work if we use this first formula in the first formula, we have radius and height. We don't know the radius and we don't know the height. So, meaning we cannot use the first formula that has two unknowns uh, measurement. So, for this reason, we'll go for this one uh, that has one unknown measurement, which is the radius alone. So, we're going to say area internal is equal to uh, pi r squared okay the internal area base area we've been given that so meaning where there is this we're going to replace 3850 then is equal to pi they say pi we take it as 3.142 then times the radius is we don't know is the one we're looking for so the r squared will remain like that okay remember we want to remain with r squared so what we're going to do is we'll divide both sides by 3.142 so that we remain with this so we have 3.142 so 3.142 so we divide both sides by 3.142 3.142 so these will cancel will remain with r squared is equal to uh, when you divide this you have 1225.2 uh, point, uh, point, point three three. okay remember we are looking for the radius and not the radius squared so what are we going to do we'll take square roots on both sides okay we'll undo the square so this and that will go will remain with r is equal to when you find the square root of this you have on the calculator you have 35.00 uh, 477737 okay so that will be that is the square root okay now when you look at this we can round this radius to the nearest whole number. So meaning radius will be 35 centimeters. So this is 
the internal radius from here to there which is 35 okay now that we know what the radius is we can now use this formula to find the height we know what the radius is we can use this formula to find this height so find we we'll use this space so we have volume in the internal the internal volume being equal to 1 over 3 by r squared h our m is to find h so the internal volume we've been given this so we have uh, 34,650 is equal to 1 over 3 times pi is 3.142 times radius we found that radius is 35 so we'll put 35 squared times times h okay so here on the left you still remain with 34,650 is equal to when you multiply 1 times 3.142 times 35 squared times h you have um, 3,848.95 h so you just multiplied this then remember we are dividing by 3 so we have over 3 so at this stage when you look at the right hand side of the equal, of the equal sign you have a fraction so meaning this has to be written as a fraction as well like this um, and then at this stage we cross multiply you say 1 times this you have this which is 3848.95 h is equal to 3 times 34,650 you have 103,950 okay now remember our m our m is to remain with h so for us to solve for h we're going to divide both sides of this equation by 3,000 848.95 uh, 3848 okay so these will cancel will divide you have h is equal to if you divide this you re, you see that you remain with the, uh, 27.00 uh, 65 okay we can also write this to the near we can also round this off to the nearest whole number so meaning h is going to be equal to 27 uh, centimeters so the height here is 27 centimeters okay the height is 27 centimeters now let's look at the last question this one so the next question says given that the cone is 0.7 centimeters thick calculate the external volume of the cone so now they have given us the thickness they are saying this thickness is 0.7 okay now they want us to find the external volume of this cone now remember the internal volume the radius for the internal volume is from here up to here and we found that it's 35 so now since the, since they are saying the thickness is 0 0.7 centimeters it means for us to find the radius of the external uh, cone we are going to add 35 to this so we're going to have our new radius radius is equal to uh, 35 centimeters plus 0 0.7 centimeters which gives 35 point seven centimeters again for the height the height the internal height from, from here to there is i mean we found 27 now from here we need to find the height from here up to the top here and since we know that the height the, the, the thickness here is 0.7 we will also add uh, 0 0.7 to the height here. So we're going to have 27 centimeters plus 0 0.7 centimeters, which gives 
27.7 centimeters. So now we are going to use these new uh, measurements for us to find the volume. And remember, the volume is given by volume, and this is the internal uh, the extent, and this is the external volume. So we have volume external, the external volume being equal to one over three. The formula doesn't change by r squared h. Okay. So we just have to replace this. So we have one over three times pi is three point one four two times Radius, the radius we are going to use our new radius, this one 35.7 squared, then times uh, height we are going to use the, our new height, we are going to use our new height which is 27.7. Okay, so now when you multiply 1 times 3.142 times 35.7 squared times this, you will see that you have 110,000. 923.198 then everything remember everything remember is being divided by 3 so now you have this divided by 3 you have 36,974.399 nine three two okay then we have a lot of numbers here so we can actually um, write this answer correct to three significant figures so correct to th three significant figures we'll have one two three so the target value is this check the neighbor is more than five so we'll get a one and put it there then to be 10, you get a 1 from here, you remain with a 0 and put it there. So you have 37,000. Here we put zeros here. So 37,000 cubic centimeters. So this is the external volume of this cone. Thank you very much for watching. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing, comment, hit the like button and share. See you in the next video. Goodbye.